Welcome to VTRT Plus Video Lectures. In this session you will learn about important definitions and protective zones in protection and switch gear. So you'll see some of the important definitions in protection switch gear. First is your pickup. This is concerned with the relay. So as we said already that uh, the uh, what relay does is immediately after it senses the fault, the relay goes from so this is your fault where CT senses the fault, so current transformer and this is your relay and it goes from off to on position. So that is called as pickup. That is a minimum actuating current in which the relay goes from off to on position. That is called the pickup value. Next you say reset. Reset is nothing but the opposite of pickup. Suppose there, uh, there, is, there is a fault has been occurred and the relay goes from off to on position and the circuit breaker has tripped its operation and the faulty uh, part is isolated from the healthy part. Again what should happen? The relay should come back to its original position. That is it should come from on to off position. So that is called a reset. Next is your plug setting multiplier, which is very important. So, plug setting multiplier is given by the ratio of the fault current in the relay coil to the pickup value. So, this is called the plug setting multiplier. Next is your time bar PSM curve, where it is a curve which is drawn between time and your current. So, you can see in this curve that as a current period is very small, you can see that the time and the current is inversely proportional in the initial stage. As the current starts increasing, what happens to the time? You can see that the time becomes constant. So, first it is inversely proportional and finally it is becoming constant. So, this is called the time of time of PSM curve. Final definition is your burden. Burden, we all know that it is the power consumption of the relay. So, the relay starts its operation and what is the power consumed by the relay is given by the burden. So, these are the important definitions which we have seen. First is your pickup. The opposite is your reset, next is your plug setting multiplier, next is your curve, time bar PSM curve, finally it is your burden. Now coming to the protective zones which is a very important topic in relaying. So we have already said the relay starts its operation immediately as it senses the fault. Okay. So here you can see that the top is a generator which is connected to your transformer and to the transmission lines. You can see here a circuit breaker is being connected at every part. So see here to the generator transformer we have connected a circuit breaker. Again the transmission lines also we have connected a circuit breaker for protection purpose. So if there are various protection zones you can see here. First is your generator protection zone. Next is your transformer protection zone. Next is your bus bar protection zone. Next is your transmission line protection zone. So first is your generator. So that should be protected. If suppose fault occurs in the generator. That should be immediately that the voltage generator should be removed from the rest of the system. So you have first is a generator protective zone where a relay and a circuit breaker will be attached to the generator and immediately it should sense the fault and should be removed. Next coming to the transformer. For transformer alone we will have a circuit breaker immediately to sense the fault and remove the fault. You can see here the generator protector zone and the generator transformer protection zone are overlap here. The necessary for overlapping is it gives an additional protection to the system. For example, let us see that the generator you have surrounded by a protective zone called the generator protective zone. For example, the relay and the circuit breaker in this generator protection zone goes wrong. That is, it doesn't operate at some of the cases. So, the generator, uh, even if the generator goes in fault, the fault will be getting affected to the transform transmission line also and the immediate rest of the system also. So, that should not happen at any case. So, what will happen immediately is the trans transmission line or transformer will have another circuit breaker here. So, this circuit breaker will go and operate here. So, that is this zone, the outer zone starts its operation and immediately the relay and the circuit breaker will be operated and the faulty part will be isolated. So, if one zone doesn't operate also, the other zone will operate and the it will isolate the faulty parts from the rest of the system. That is advantage for overlapping of zones. So you can see here the generator and the generator transformer zones are overlap here. In the second system you can see here the generator transformer zone and the bus bar zone are being overlapped here. 
So if this goes wrong, the other zone will operate and it will protect the system. So similarly, all the zones have been overlapped here for protection purpose alone. So what is protective zone? If suppose there is no protective zone, what will happen? So let us see that this is a covered area and protection zone. Suppose if there is a generator apart from your protective zone, which is not covered in this, what will happen to the generator? So if this generator, suppose an overcurrent comes to the generator and the generator fails its operation. So you doesn't uh, uh, recognize that the generator has failed its operation. What will happen? Immediately the system which is con connected to the generator, all the remaining equipments will be affected because of this generator alone. So once if the system is protected by a protective zone only, immediately the relay and circuit breaker will operate and it will protect the system. If the protective zone is not covered here, the rest of the equipment which is connected to the equipment will be also under fault. So the protective zone is very necessary since uh, immediately as the fault occurs that will be the system whole system will be protected. If so, now let us see this condition where the generator is not protected that is called the dead spot. The dead spot is the area which is not covered by the protective zone. So it is a very dangerous zone where the whole of the parts which is connected to the main part gets affected. Uh, so the, the dead spot should be avoided at any conditions. So the protective zones are very important and overlapping protective zones should be necessary for immediate protection of the system. Thanks for watching video tip plus video lectures. Subscribe to us for more videos.